Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hub Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we have another lesson on North Indian classical music, uh, Raga, and we talk about Bimpalashri. Bimpalashri is a minor Raga which has its tat, its kafi, so it's like a, a, a Dorian uh, scale, and it also um, only uses these seven notes of Dorian. But it uses these notes in a kind of a um, different um, way. It's not like up and down uh, the same. It goes up in a like a minor pentatonic, like a, this typical scale um, as Westerners and especially as, as guitarists. We know this minor pentatonic over and over. And it, it moves down um, with a full scale, Shampurna, um, Shampurn with a um, seven notes. So it's like Auraf is means like five notes up and um, Shampurn means uh, seven notes uh, down. So the, so the Jati uh, of the Arohan and Avarohan is like Auraf and Shampurn and goes like that. <laughs> Tuning, uh, I tune the guitar like it's standard tuning, but it's drop D. So I have a low D, which is also my sound, my root of the scale. Okay, it's an afternoon raga. The time is afternoon, so it's exactly the right time for me now to play Bimpalashri. And um, you also have down in the description below, you find a link to the PDF of this uh, lesson. And um, there you also see like there are a lot of um, these phrases and we will just um, I will just um, play them now for you. These are the, the Wistar phrases. So either you use that on like in a kind of rubato um, way um, in time. Yeah, while the pulse, the rhythmical cycle is going yeah, in time, you do like these rubato movements. That's called Wistar or you use that as a, as a alap, as a like um, um, rubato um, thing. I mean, the first part of the alap, the alap is uh, rubato, then it, the tempo comes, the jor, and then also the jala normally will follow. So it goes into time and tempo, but the first, like, um, um, first long part of this introduction um, thing, it's actually not really an introduction. It's really like the raga and unfolding the raga with these rubato movements. Okay, so let's let's um, go through that. I I take my actually I take my mir oil, yeah, baby oil with a little bit aftershave to have a little bit more disinfection <laughs> or uh, smell also. It smells very good, and um, it's it's better for 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 gliding here on on the strings. It's not only like giving you less resistance, so it's easier to, to, to do that, but it's also at the same time, um, the, the string is not so much affected by that. Because when you have a lot of um, resistance also, so no oil, then you, you affect the string much more. You go against the kind of a resistance of the string and that will heat up the string and so the string will, will get lower in pitch. So that you really don't want. So if you do like these, these movements, and the first movement would be... Um, Next, it's similar, a bit similar, but also not like a... Yeah. Before you came from here. That's um, like uh, um, in the second last line, you have a similar um, thing with a little andolan happening, like um, um, that 
it's all all a bit like like similar huh? going going from the major sec uh, six to the perfect fifth that, that approach <laughs> Okay, um, the next line. So what is that? And this goes further actually with the... So what is happening there? We go pentatonic, right? So we go... minor pentatonic, the D minor pentatonic, and then we have that um, approach of yeah, to go to the E, and we use this E then, okay, we use it very quickly just for, for an altern alternation between F and E, but our main direction is down, so... German pull off and then normally this is done on, on the sarod with an open string um, this is an op would be an open string on the sarod so it would be like it would sound a little bit different of course also that would sound different it's more like um, yes that's a problem that's always yeah, we, do, we have frets, so we are happy, but we are also restricted. Okay, um, there's that. Um, it's also happening very, very often, um, this, this thing going... For example... we played already and then there next um, some like just little phrases it's like um
<clears throat> this is also, also the problem here with this bending very often. We talked about that in, <clears throat> in another lesson. When I'm bending the note, my, my other strings, I mean, that depends on your guitar. You do bending a lot on, on the sitar and there you have a very strong neck, you know, but, but on the guitar, on my guitar, the string, the, the, the neck is a little bit um, um, not so resistant, you can say. So it, it changes, it, it goes a little bit when, I, when I'm bending, yeah, I put more pressure on the neck, it goes a little bit like, like a bow kind of thing, it, it moves a little bit forward. So these strings get lower, yeah, you hear that? And when I just bend and just listen to that string, So, so that's a that's a problem why I can't yeah, go to that note because that's already a little bit too sharp. That's actually a little bit too low, but now it fits with the other strings. Um, that was just a little bit this, um, this this small issue I had when I wanted to to really end on the on the D and the the D was what my real sa is not anymore there because the other strings are a little bit getting a little bit lower. So yeah, you have to you have to open your ears. You have to always uh, open your ears uh, when dealing with music, of course, and be always prepared maybe to uh, to adjust in a certain way. Okay, there's another little um, yeah, study you can say. This is um, most of the stuff you, you get here, what I'm teaching here you, I, I, um, I got from my, my guru, from my teacher in uh, Calcutta when I, I've been there for, for five months um, in Calcutta. And I had like lessons, um, uh, yeah, I mean like every week, like three, four, five times uh, I, I went to his place and um, so I get a lot of material and I'm in a way I'm sorting out a lot of stuff now and really uh, check that and, and what what I want, what, what I need for my music, which, which kind of um, techniques and, and exercise and, and rag movements. And that's quite an uh, interesting um, uh, phase now for me also to, 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 to uh, yeah, to, to, to really... Um, question everything so to speak to 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 take something what's what's great for sure everything is great about it but how much do i really need it how much do i really use it how much is it really like making my music um better or stronger or is it really helping me on my path so and that's really interesting i mean this is like uh, that question you can you can always um raise yeah you can always with every little fragment of music you can ask this to yourself <laughs> okay um so there's a little bit um this, this is another kind of an excerpt of a lot more about bimpalashri actually um but um i like this because it's bimpalashri of course but it's also like a, a good good um study for like this um diri diri and like rhythmical study um <laughs> So let me let me just play that. So one, two, three, four. phrase one two three four okay 
So that's just one thing to practice and the strokes are written there. Dara dir dir da ra da ra da da ra dir dir da ra da ra da. Um, yeah, so it's pretty pretty much straightforward, I think. All right, I hope you you got something out of that lesson. So that's it. We will um, we will stop here, and um, so I hope you get inspired to go on with Bimpalashri. It's a it's a nice um, nice scale. I mean, it's a nice raga, and this this also goes more in not more this goes really into the category of ragas which which just use a, a kind of a normal scale like in this case like dorian is just a church mode and and nothing just a mode of, of the major scale and um no other node is used here and um this can that that kind of cat category is actually really interesting um to to learn about like like maybe or learn to know like certain melodic um, phrases and concepts which you might not come up with just by yourself when you improvise with that scale you know i mean to really think about like okay uh, the pentatonic in the upward mo motion movement and the the full scale in the downward word motion yeah that that kind of a thing gives you already like like really different melodies and you you i mean i i'm sure that you come up with certain things uh, just by accident or just by playing and, and opening your ears and so but it's 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 really like like in, in a um, in a way like this is uh, following these rules of a certain raga um, can can really be also a, a kind of a more systematic way to to make um, uh, like explorations yeah to to explore things to discover discover different different phrases different ways um of of, of approaching certain notes and um for example i mean this is this, this thing here Like, like really going this pentatonic yeah that's really really this thinking about that hearing that getting this 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 uh, trying to understand these 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 rules and these these melodic movement of the raga it's really like it really gives you a a deeper at the end i mean at the end without playing raga at the end it gives you a deeper uh, understanding of dorian or what dorian also can can be and what 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 can it feature and what kind of sounds you, you find there in, in dorian uh, that's so it's 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 like like um, it's in a way of to to explore things and and of course i mean the 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 challenge is is of course to to, to go go more in that direction to really try to to, to play like a indian raga in a kind of more intact way that you're really bringing out this this mood you know and and um, um that's 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 not so easy that's a not not so easy task um but still you can benefit a lot by 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 checking out recordings and and these phrases and 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 just you can just apply them you know i mean uh, why not you can just apply them to to your own improvisations whether jazz whether you have a kind of you play like like so what or something like that my Davis tune uh, and you you just uh, have this dorian thing all the time you can you can look for different phrases if you want and uh, I mean, in his solo in so what he also plays a lot like 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 pentatonic um, lines. Also, um, John Coltrane is using a lot of pentatonic stuff. Yeah, um, like um, when 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 in Dorian, like minor pentatonic, and yeah. So at the end, the whole thing. I mean, it's everything is really connected a lot, and you can just. You can just open that one door, go into that one um, musical culture, and, and 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 learn about certain things about Dorian, for example. Yeah, Dorian is in raga music. Dorian is in 
in uh, Makam music, Dorian is in, in, in Gregorian chant, Dorian is in jazz, and every 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 door, every room, every every culture style shows you a different aspect of this, um, and that's so that's a that's that's actually a good good um, excuse uh, to to check it out. All right, so that's it. As I said, I hope you get inspired to, to go more into Bimparashi, but be careful, it's an afternoon raga. So only afternoon you can play that. I hope you like these lessons here on Guitar Academia. If so, please also subscribe to my channel and there's this bell button to get notifications when a new video will be released. This is the case every week here. Also, you can support my channel, which, which would be really awesome. Just follow the link in the description below to my website, hupildenbrand.com, and there, the Guitar Academia page, there's a button where you can donate. So I would really be happy if you do that, that I see, yeah, you really value in the stuff you, you get here and you want to get more involved in the whole thing. So um, do that, I would be really happy. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Hupildenbrand.